Hey guys, Fat Man the Beard back again. Uh, last week I talked about my video about a uh, movie, uh, Hell High, in one of my last hauls. And uh, a couple people that follow me commented on there. One was Horror Gal, Susan, um, and Chris Fields. And they said, well, yeah, you should, you should totally do a review on that. So I thought, well, that's a good idea. So this is my first time reviewing a movie. And what I plan to do from now on is, at least for the time being, is reviewing one B horror movie a week, um, just because I've gotten so many. So this week I did watch Hell High. Um, next week will be Rush Week. Uh, even though I have seen Rush Week, um, it's been probably since the early 90s since I've seen that. Um, so I'm going to rewatch it, uh, watch all the extras, and I'll review that one uh, next week. Uh, so look for that one too. Um, so Hell High. Um, let's start out with a little history on the movie. Uh, I was wrong about the dates in my last video. This video was this film was actually made in 1986, um, but did not come out until 1989, late 89, October I believe of 89. Uh, so really towards the end of 89, almost the beginning of 1990. Uh, the reason is is they uh, started filming halfway through, um, and then lost uh, ran out of budget, and so they stopped for a while and then came back and finished the movie. Um, for some reason, the movie was shelved for a couple more years until 1989, and, and it came out. Um, and what's interesting is I did look this up on ID, IMBD, and it said that um, it did come out in 1989, but Chris Stryker, the, the main actor in it, had passed away um, from, H, or from AIDS in 1989, um, two years or um, three years after the film was made. Um, and so I thought well, that's weird because it came out in 89, but he had passed away. So I did go back and look and it was 1986. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of got an interesting, I think that's why it probably, this is so unknown is filmed in 86 at the height of the slashers, um, uh, but didn't come out until the end of kind of flash slashers were dying out that kind of, at that point, And they were kind of, um, you know, kind of becoming a cliche. Um, and so I think that's why this looked pretty dated, I think probably in 89, uh, they're like thinking, oh, this doesn't look right. So I think that's kind of the confusion on this one. Um, I think had this come out in the year it was filmed, it would have been pretty successful. This is a pretty good film overall. Um, what I would say with this film is it's kind of like a, it's kind of like the girl that teases you. Um, it just gives you just enough to string you along to keep you interested. Um, there's just enough blood and gore, just enough boob shots, um, and, and just enough. Uh, uh, Killings just to kind of string you along and make the movie fun. Um, what really makes the movie uh, really fun, though, is uh, Joe Bob Briggs. Uh, you can watch the movie with or without his commentary. The commentary is great. He's very insightful, uh, very funny, and, and talks a lot. And he's, you can tell he's very knowledgeable about the movie. Um, the movie is basically about um, this high school kid uh, who's a, kind of a star football player, quits football. Um, and is being kind of shunned and made fun of by the other football players. Um, and so these other three slacker kids, burnout kind of kids, uh, pick him up and take him under their wing, and they say, they've got this really nasty teacher who uh, they don't like. Um, they say, well, it's like a Friday night. They say, well, hey, let's go out and, and let's mess with her. Let's go to her house. She lives alone out, out in this uh, big colonial house out in the woods. Um, and so it's a typical, you know, kind of mess with the teacher type movie. Um, and they go out there in these Halloween masks and try and scare it and, and things go wrong. Um, what I really liked about the movie is uh, it's got a really cool opening scene um, with this little girl and these, uh, this guy and this girl on a motorcycle. They stop to kind of basically have sex in the shed and she get, the girl gets upset. And um, I won't go on any there, but there's a really great scene, kill scene in the very beginning, and there's some pre there's some pretty cool kill scenes in this movie. Um, it's done pretty well. It, the acting is pretty good overall. I, I like the acting. There's just enough to like I said, it's a fun movie. It's a fun. I wouldn't say it's it, it's it borderlines on being serious and campy, um, which I like about which is something I really like about the film. Um, but really, overall, I would, I would probably, without the commentary, I would probably still only give the film about, uh, about a six and a half. 
but the Joe Bob Briggs uh, commentary really bumps it up to a 7.5 because it's just really fun to listen to him. He's got a really great voice. I just love Joe Bob Briggs' voice. He just has a very soothing, kind of funny voice, and I really enjoy that. Um, and there's a, there's a extras with uh, the director um, talking about the history of the film and why he actually, this was his one and only film. He didn't go on to make any more films. He actually got out of the film business. Um, and most, there's nobody in here. Um, I think there's a couple. The, the teacher was a soap opera actress. Uh, but other than that, I think the main actor, Chris Stryker, he probably would have gone on to have a pretty decent career, but um, unfortunately passed away from AIDS um, in 89. Um, but overall, yeah, I would say this is a great pickup. I think if you're a fan of um, 80s horror films, this is this is definitely a must. Um, it, Amazon's got it for, Amazon actually does have it for $9.99. It is in stock. I think it only said they had like four copies left or something like that. And I did find this on eBay for $9.99 with free shipping. Um, so it's not super difficult. It's not super expensive. But I, I would imagine that this would go out of print pretty soon. Um, you know, this isn't a common horror movie, um, so it, it, it probably has a pretty limited run. So if you do run across this, um, I would pick it up, and I highly suggest picking it up. It is very well done. Um, the acting is very good. The special effects are pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's not break, it's not groundbreaking. There's no, there's nothing in here you haven't already seen. But you know, for a fun '80s obscure horror movie, it's great. It's it's actually well done, um, and it just kind of flew under the radar. So. Um, that, that's it. That's Hell High. Um, check it out, guys. Um, I will leave a um, trailer link in the description, so go check out the trailer and see what you think of it. Um, I don't, you probably, well, I actually, I don't know. I didn't do the research. Check Netflix. It might be a rentable deal, too. You might be able to rent this as well. Um, I'm sure it's not streaming anywhere. Um, but yeah, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a, a, a link to the uh, trailer. And go check it out, guys. Pretty fun movie. And next week, uh, I will be reviewing um, Rush Week. And like I said, after that, I want to try and review, start reviewing uh, one B-horror movie a week. So that's it, guys. We'll see you later.